Okay, this video is on making your own line spooler. If you're a surf fisherman, you're going to have to replace all of your mono at least once a year. Otherwise, when you're dragging in that big four-pound pompano, your line's going to break. So, this particular spooler was made for my dad by a surf fisherman by the name of Dan Lamaster. And Dan also loved to engineer little things that would make our lives easier surf fishing. So, Hats off to you, Dan, and we're going to call this the LeMaster line spooler. And we've got a little cheat sheet here that shows you everything you're going to need to make it. You know, your lumber is going to be one by six, and here's your dimensions you're going to have to have cut. You know, if you don't have a chop saw, they'll chop it for you right at Home Depot or Lowe's. And you're also going to need a C-clamp when you're all done making this thing. And that's going to allow you to clamp it to a table or a chair so it doesn't go skidding across the floor. So here's your whole list of your hardware items you're going to need. And once you get this thing done, uh, you're going to just uh, put your one-pound spool. It's designed for a one-pound spool. You're going to remove your wing nut and slide it on there. And as you can see, the spacers here are where you're going to be using your uh, your one inch dowel now when dan made this he had uh, some solid plastic that was uh, uh, one inch in diameter but you're not going to be able to find anything like that so just grab an old broomstick or buy a section of uh, one inch dowel and you're going to have to drill holes through it that allow you to put this uh, this five sixteenths rod through here so uh, you're going to have to have at least a 3 8 inch hole you know if you got a drill press even better yet it's going to be nice and straight if you don't and you have to drill it by hand just uh, you know cut your inch and a half lengths and after you do that you know make your first hole uh, a small bit like a sixteenth of an inch and then maybe work up to a 3 16th and then a 3 8 for a final and that's going to uh, allow you to have a hole that's more centered and get less, um, you know, drift when your bit goes in if you try to use that 3 8 the first time through. So, and once you get done drilling your holes on that, you're going to have to taper the ends. Now, if you have a sander, well, just use that. If you have to do it by hand, well, you know, get some 80 grit or whatever, or if you're lucky enough to have a, a Dremel with one of those little drum sander attachments, just make sure it's tapered all the way around, and that way when you go to tighten this up, it's going to go into the holes of your one-pound spool. So, and there you go. You know, you're going to have your, your own line spooler. It's going to make your life easier. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my Pompano Brownie channel. And that's it for this video.